Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Total Rush promo Friday once again on FC25 with Team 2 of the Total Rush promo dropping today. And we have got more insane names dropping on this game today. Yes, guys, that means we had the full entire leaked team of Team 2 that we have to look at and talk about today. As well as leaked names for who our SBC players might be today. Will it be two SBCs like last week with Morgan and Swanson? We will have to see and of course guys a lot of market information coming your way today because the market has absolutely exploded after division rivals rewards once again but will the market keep going up today or is it gonna drop after we get new total rush cards and a whole bunch of new content today we're gonna discuss that all and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's look over yesterday's content on yet again, another quiet Thursday to start off. We had one player SBC yesterday and it wasn't even at the content drop. It was an hour beforehand with the Omar Marmouche player of the month. We had Bundesliga player of the month yesterday, which means we're probably gonna have league one player of the month today on Friday. I think last year they dropped Bundesliga on Fridays. Maybe they flipped off them this year. So watch out for that Bradley Barcola SBC coming today, maybe early, kind of like how Phil Foden dropped early last week. But we did have this Marmouche yesterday. This SBC, there's not really too much special about it unless you want a Bundesliga striker. Chipshot Plus is a playstyle plus that I really don't care too much for. He does have technical pinged and first touch, and he's got a couple of decent roll pluses as a striker. Granted, he does have pace, 93 pace. He's got four-star skills, decent shooting, pretty good dribbling. Not a bad card if you want somebody cheap from the Bundesliga. And once again, just something to note with this SBC. Very low rated squad requirements, but yet again, they're requiring three informs. EA is trying to get our informs out of our clubs, but also at the same time, they're giving us an upgrade pack every single day to do for team of the weeks to try to drain our fodder out of our clubs as well. Now, this is going away today. I think it's going to come back. So watch out for a new team of the week upgrade coming back today as well. But that was our Omar Marmouche player SBC. It's coming in at 50,000 coins just because of those team of the week requirements in there. Not that crazy of an SBC. We also had marquee matchups yesterday, which it really didn't give a that great of a pack reward. I do believe, however, that some silvers from the Bundesliga are selling because of this specific SBC here. Something goes up in price every single week from marquee matchups, and I think that was what went up this week with MMs. Now, that was literally all of the content yesterday, guys. It was a quiet Thursday, but it was not quiet on the market, which we'll talk about in a second. But there is a couple little pieces of news that I do want to discuss because you might have logged on to the game yesterday, especially if you're on new gen, and noticed that there was an update. The update, title update number three, whatever it was called, with that huge long list of all the changes they were making was actually pushed live, and we have the new update in this game right now. EA also released a server release notes with a couple of extra add-ons uh, that they will be changing here as well. Like rush goalkeepers are gonna have deflector plus play style. And then also they decreased XP from rush matches. So you'll get less rush points, I guess, depending on match rating. And they also mentioned some of the items in that squad builder for building SBCs. That was a very, very exciting thing that we saw added in this latest update. They're going to be making some changes to that and some of the parameters are inactive for now, but those will be shared more about in detail in the future as that becomes obtainable, they said. So, guys, yesterday, I'll just really quick aside, we played some Rivals games yesterday. You can check it out in the second channel if you want to see we bought an icon and went crazy with him it was absolutely fun it wasn't pure res it was a different one but the gameplay patch the gameplay feels almost exactly the same and actually with the update yesterday some people were noticing that some of their evolution cards were missing roll plus pluses like if you did dalo or any of those right backs in the club member reward evolution check your player because it might be missing a roll plus plus and that seems to be one of the small glitches going around with the new update i would assume that will be fixed pretty soon but yeah, pretty quiet day yesterday on Thursday, except for the market rise. That's what I want to talk about right now. Take a look at the index icon on Footbin. Guys, what we talked about in the last two days of getting cards Wednesday night before rewards or early Thursday during the rewards time frame, it was unbelievable this week, the rises that we saw in cards, especially on the icons, on the heroes, and on the out-of-pack specials 
cards like this Govu, who before rewards were 500,000 coins, 513k, and currently 600,000 coins. Absolutely insane rises for a lot of these types of cards. You see Barcola, he's even getting a player of the month SBC, right? I bought his card at 400,000 coins, sold him at 440, was happy with the profit. He's now 475,000 coins. Crazy rises on a lot of these cards. Icons, again, heroes, out of pack specials as well. Luis Diaz, went. he's 300K. Yesterday before awards, he was 220. 230 all the way upwards now of 300,000 coins just because there's no supply for this card on the market and there's so many coins given out at Rivals Rewards each and every week. It is 100% the best way to make coins consistently on this game every single week. A lot of road to the knockout cards continue to go up as we're getting closer and closer to more games upcoming this week. These prices are going up. It was an insane day. The rush cards from Team 1, they had a bit of a dip in price. They went back up as well. I was able to pick up a KDB for 1.32, sold it for 148. Same thing with Shua Many from 497 to 547. We have more trades, a lot of them in yesterday's second and channel upload if you want to check that one out i'll link it right above here but the market is very very high very high at the moment like some of those price rises like we saw on the icons hero specials are they going to last through content today i'm not entirely sure i especially say for gold cards guys gold cards meta gold cards i would look to maybe sell a few of those lower tier meta not maybe a super high tier meta card but fridays crash the market in some way every single week so the blanket statement is i will be going into content today with all of my coins i'll be liquid and ready to go to see what this new team is going to bring us and we will go from there if you have buys for your team i'd be careful with those unless they're really top tier players we'll talk more about the market in a little bit let's talk about total rush team number two and get into the big information and content coming today on friday guys this is the leaked team allegedly foot sheriff tweeting this graphic yesterday or i guess posting it alongside of another ultimate team twitter account you've got salah puteas messi who we mentioned in yesterday's video lewandowski we'll talk more about him later florian verts Neymar is getting into this promo team. Iago Aspas, Tomori, Martins from PSG women's team, Sabitzer, Zaire Emery, and then, honestly, a lot of fodder names down here at the bottom. There could be some good cards. I'm not writing them off just yet. But this is the official leaked team number two. Guys, there are some big names. Again, Mo Salah, Puteus, Neymar, Tomori, Messi. Those are some really, really big names. It definitely rivals team number one of Rush when you compare the big names in team one versus team two. But as I look at this team that is leaked overall, I can't help but think it's maybe just a little bit of a step below team number one. Not that it's bad, just maybe a little bit of a step below. But of course, what do we see with team number one? We saw insane stat boosts on the Ronaldo, on the De Young, on the um, Griezmann wasn't that big of an upgrade, but the De Bruyne was pretty solid with the pace. Trent got a huge upgrade. So I would expect the same thing for a lot of these players as well. Maybe Messi gets some pace, right? Maybe they give Lewandowski a big pace boost. Maybe they give somebody like Neymar, I don't know, a shooting boost or something, a passing boost for him. I'm really excited to see how these cards get juiced. I like that word. I've made that one up. Juiced today on this game with stat boost. Because again, we noticed that EA is doing a couple skill move and weak foot upgrades here, but they're not doing too much with the play style pluses, right? We noticed that last week. A lot of these cards kept their same playstyle plus from their gold version. So I would assume the same would be for this week of Team 2. So again, all eyes are on how are these cards going to be accessible on the market. But guys, we kind of know the drill, right? I would not imagine that these Total Rush players are going to be insanely packable and insanely obtainable on the market it just really seems to be the new concept even this goes back into last year fc24 the concept with promos that ea likes to do now is they like to release a promo with the top tier of players the upper echelon with your Messi, your puteas your salah and neymar to get you all excited but then they just just so unpackable and then you're just left chasing those cards that you're never going to be able to get except for a few very lucky people and then you just pack a lot of the fodder cards and then there's decent content and sbcs and evolutions right it's real tough to pack promo cards. I have not packed any of the Total Rush cards from team number one. We're going to save up some player picks and stuff from the objectives today to try to pack somebody from team number two because it's always worth a try. But man, it's tough to pack these promo cards. So I'm not expecting anything crazy in terms of pack weight today. But as we always do, well, let's talk about this now. 
we go to the store, guys, because we want to compare between this week of team number one and tomorrow, today really, and into tomorrow with team number two. We want to compare the pack weight. The 50K pack, rare players pack, which will probably be dropped at some point today on Friday. This has a 3.2% chance of a total rush player. Now, there's a mini release for team one with Dalo and Dovbik and those couple players that were added on the weekend. So this number may be a little bit higher than what the total rush team two number could be today. But just remember that 3.2% from a 50K pack. Once we get the 50K pack today, we'll be able to see how the packway looks for these cards coming out. Now, of course, for these players like Neymar, Salah, Puteas, guess what, right? They're gold cards to the moon because of course when a player is going to be going out of packs especially if it's a meta card still at the stage of the game like Puteas is she was 500k last night at rewards she goes up with rewards the leak comes out and she just continues to rise same thing with Mohamed Salah I think he was like 220 or 215,000 coins and as you can see now he had 218 he is 264k he's going out of packs and he's in this promo team that's still a player that a lot of people are going to be chasing so if you got those cards near the low i think you could keep holding but like we saw last week with de young and griezmann that went out of packs for team number one these cards can be great investments at multiple points throughout the week but again as you can see like last week de young he was 60k before he was leaked and he went all the way to 70 on friday he dropped a little bit again and then from there it was just slowly straight up and then a really big boom yesterday with rivals rewards so we will be watching salah we'll be watching um Puteas, Neymar, Florian Verts, and maybe even Tomori for those sorts of movements this week. Now, that's enough about the team that's coming into packs. Let's talk about SBCs. Lewandowski is allegedly our SBC you would think would be coming today. This was leaked by FIFA U team. It was leaked by Rick on Twitter as well. These guys have had leaks in the past. It's a little more unclear right now as to who our SBC player will be today. Lewandowski seems to be, in my opinion, the biggest name for a card that would be dropped. You know, we kind of talk about this, right, with leaked SBCs. We have a few names out right now, but this one seems to be the biggest name, and usually the biggest name SBCs are dropped on the promo Fridays. Now, to me, this one doesn't have a lot of hype. If you're a Barca fan, you're stoked, of course, right? But the issue is, what is EA going to do to make this SBC special? Are they going to give him a pace boost and give him like 85 pace, give him 90 shooting and maybe a good dribbling? I think for Lewandowski, what they'd have to do is change his play style plus because that's one of the biggest things about this card that is a detractor is he's got finesse he's got incisive even power shot and power header and trivella this could be a decent card in this game but if they just took away chip shot plus and gave him finesse plus or power shot plus maybe even trivella or at the very worst power header but anything better than chip shot in my opinion would make this card a lot more hype and it could make him a lot more usable if they give him a pace boost as well so they're gonna have to do something special with this Lewandowski today to make it super duper hype but again it is Lewandowski so he's gonna have some sort of hype regardless his informs like 40,000 coins I think they would make this SBC maybe around the same price as the Morgan couple hundred thousand coins three four hundred K at the max Hopefully it's a good card though, and I have high hopes that EA could change something to make this Lewandowski good. Now the other thing we have to talk about are the other two SBC League players. Are we getting two SBCs today like we did last week with Swanson and Alex Morgan? Well, we have another NWSL player leaked, and that is Crystal Dunn. If you guys remember, last year in FC24, she had a really good evolution during the Centurions promo that a lot of people did for her card. And uh, she's pretty good in game. If you actually look at her gold card, it is not a bad item at all. This one, I hope, is a good SBC because if you've done Morgan, like I hope to do here soon in the future, or if you've done Swanson, this will be a very easy way to link those two together. And uh, yet again, of course, guess what's happening? NWSL links. This card, Trinity Rodman's now 420,000 coins. She was upwards of 450 yesterday after this leak was posted as she went up a bunch with Rivals Rewards and then other people again started investing because of that Crystal Dunn SBC leak as well. Sophia Smith is like 330. I don't know if this is coming today. It's really kind of up in the air what SBC we're going to get today. Lewandowski seems the most probable, but will we get two, right? That's the question. But if it's not today, sometime this weekend for Crystal Dunn and or Di Lorenzo, who is still leaked right now. We did not get his SBC yesterday, so he's still out there. This, again, has a lot of potential as Syria right now is very popular with the Taram SBCs, the Varane that have been out. 
he could be a very even the Kavicha player of the month this could be a very good SBC even if it's not that high rated and if it's pretty affordable he could end up being a beast and make some right backs drop on the market so we're watching that price of this De Lorenzo very close to the Serie A prices as well I think we get we at least get one player today it's really hard to, to know who we're going to be getting but watch out for maybe more leaks I don't know if they're going to throw in an end of an era this week like they did last week again uh, this little news tab on the menus right now it's not looking at the moment there it is but you can kind of see over here it says SBCs and it shows the end of an era this was for week one so maybe if they update that today we'll be able to just get a small glimpse into what our content might be and what other types of cards we could be getting during this second week of the total rush promo so that's the SBC stuff now again this is the total rush promo so what do we expect we expect rush objectives as well of you can see here the total rush takeover with the Ito and the we play possession these are all of the player picks that in the packs that I'll be opening today on stream 14 number two but these are going away today and the total rush takeover is the objective that we had last Friday I would expect something else to be in here with a player objective as well kind of like Ito for another player today uh, kind of taking us through the second week of this promo now if you remember we didn't get a new rush mode last week on promo friday all we had was this objective which told us about new rush modes that will be coming on saturday and tuesday so watch out for that we'll see if they change it up or keep it the same but there's definitely going to be a rush aspect of course since that's what this promo is is all about and then evolutions last week on friday we were really let down by the forward fortification evolution that did, didn't really make a whole lot of sense for us uh, but we did get a couple of decent ones as we went throughout the week hopefully we get a good evo today paid unpaid whatever i just hope that we get a really really solid evo maybe it pertains to the new promo in terms of how it's going to fit into a rush mode you know kind of how we've had a few of those this past week but fingers crossed for a nice Evo. feel like we're due maybe an attacker, like a left wing or left mid type of evolution. So hopefully we get something along those lines today in this game as well. Now, if we talk back content market and packs, I know we talked about pack code already, but with the new team coming today, there is some new pack code that is added. And I like to look over this stuff because sometimes we can look at this and see, oh, the market's going to be impacted by this sort of stuff today. Well, we've got our normal untradeable big packs that have been added to the code, the premium total rush week two, total rush essentials week two, not a whole lot to talk about there, except this is an 82 times 20. And this one's an 80 plus times five with a couple of guaranteed ratings in there and total rush two player picks. But we also have these packs. This five aside player pick pack seems really interesting. Includes one rare gold player pick, a one of five of any player rated 83 or higher. It does not mention if it's tradable or untradable. Now, as you know, the last couple of weeks on this game, the for you pack section, especially the last two Fridays, it's been that for you pack section that we've really looked at for potential market movements because of supply. As EA dropped packs in there that people want to open with coins and FC points. Really curious about this one because this does not seem like a for you section pack by the way the pack code is worded in the description but if that is tradable and i don't know if ea would give out a pack like that but you know that's got to be on at least our minds today either a store pack that we have to pay for or they're going to give this one out five aside player pick pack that's one i'm really curious to see how it moves today if it is indeed tradable and then the season opener dribbling pack is kind of another one of those store packs it is untradable it's an 81 times 15 with 385 uh, 583s in it so this is the pack that i'm the most curious about but it's not like the last two weeks where we're like oh my goodness the for you pack section is going to drop a 25k pack that guarantees us a walkout or something and it could really crash the market we don't have that today but we still have a couple of packs that are interesting regarding the code now let's talk market a little bit more because we kind of feel like we know how the market's going to react a little bit today because we've seen the same story happen now a few times but is ea gonna change something about today guys again the market's very high prices are up big time i actually just picked up a ronaldo for 1.31 on a snipe and i'm hoping to be able to sell him he's still like 1.4 mil i'm hoping to be able to sell him somewhere around 1.45 or, or somewhere around there because i think he could go back up a little bit today the market should do pretty well still the market should stay pretty high as we head into the content drop today because once again People are going to be starting their foot champs games. They're going to be playing. 
team buying, team building, gameplay demand is very, very high. But what I could see happening is once again, once we get to the content drop today, similarly to how we saw prices move in the previous weeks on this game, once we get to the content drop, we see prices actually start to drop down. Where's Hyun Min Sun? Hyun Min Sun last week on Friday was 368,000 coins before the content drop. Content drop comes, he goes from 360 all the way down to 320. Slight rebound, remember that? There's like a big drop and then a slight rebound in the hour or so after content and then after that, People are done playing their champs games. He goes even lower. Late Friday night, he's down to 323,000 coins. That was last week on this game. Sun went from 360, 370 down to 320. That's a very meta top tier gold card. Be careful with gold cards today, guys, for sure. I would watch these player prices unless it's an out of packs card like Puteus, who's going to be out of packs, uh, Mo Salah, who's going to be out of packs as well. I know they're up a lot. Those are a little bit safer, though, if you got it near the low point. But cards like De Young, he's coming back into packs today. He's going to lose a lot of value. Even cards like Phil Foden, maybe even Fede Valverde's gold card, who's still up a lot. I'd be very careful owning any of these gold cards that have gone up a ton in the last day because I do think with supply, pack supply indeed, because they'll be in packs, that could make their prices drop. And even for the rest of the market, with icons and with heroes, some of the road to the knockout cards, this would be the place that I would be watching the closest today if you're going to try to trade and get some undercuts and get some deals. Like, like let's say, for example, this Dybala is 770. He's up like 70K because yesterday he was 700 11,000 coins Wednesday he was like 700k if this card goes back down to like 715,000 coins or 720 that's a card you would want to look at to buy this market has a lot of coins we've seen the market absolutely explode right this market has a lot of coins and these are the types of players that are rare they're out of packs they're not getting supplied like the gold cards are this is why I love trading with these sorts of cards a couple weeks into the game especially as we keep moving throughout the game out of pack specials you hear me hear me say it all the time these are going to be the best cards to watch today for fluctuations. You find a card that's down, even if it's like up overall, like this Rafinha is 414K. He was just 437, as high as 455. He was 455,000 coins at content yesterday. This Rafinha, like if he goes back to 400K flat, you're like, hmm, that links to Lewandowski as well. He might even be rising right now if I could get a good price on him. Uh, inform Rafinha how many of them did like 430 if I could snag one of these like yeah the 414 this is getting pretty cheap I might try to buy one of these if we're getting a Lewandowski today he's probably gonna go back up to like 450 especially because he's meta a lot of people want to use him that's a way you could trade right now before the promo drops today but also after the promo drops watch these out of pack special cards for fluctuations and as always the heroes and icons one thing you guys can remember is the market has a lot of coins right now and yes that could mean that people are going to be going and spending those coins on the new promo cards today that could create a bit of a shift and some prices could dip down a little bit but also at the same time this market has coins there's weekend league demand for the best rewards in the game games that are going to be played starting today with foot champs i think the market will do good on some areas but golds i would not be messing around too much in i'd be very very careful with those gold cards so we're going to take a look at the market survey things today probably be buying stuff for quick flips after the content drop but it's something that you want to buy for your team like a gold card as we mentioned if it's gold vandevin if it's gold saliba rodrigo bonmati wait until later tonight to put that back into your team because you're probably going to see those prices go lower today now last thing i want to talk about the easiest investment of today SBC fodder it's getting low again guys because 86s they're dropping less people are doing the icon pack more supply coming in 87s dropping back down too but again 88s 89s and 90s these are getting cheap enough to keep investing in guys 89s in the low 20k range this is a long-term investment this is like you want to put your coins into something, not think about it for maybe a week, maybe two weeks. It shouldn't be too long before we start getting 88 and 89 rated SBC requirements. The first icon player SBC of the year is kind of what we're looking for to make these sorts of players go up. Yesterday, Hegerberg was 21,000 coins at Division Rivals Rewards. Today, during the supply from opening people opening new packs for this promo, Weekend League Rewards, that's going to push some of these cards down again. Getting on bids will be your best opportunity to make coins, but it is a buy 
and hold the scenario. It is not a quick flip. It is not a, hey, these cards are going to go up 5K in the next week. Mm -mm. It's not a guarantee. You're waiting for E to drop that content, but I'm going to keep mentioning it because whenever fodder drops down and we have these dips and supply windows, getting in on that stuff, stocking your club, stocking your transfer list if you want, is going to make you a ton of coins. Fodder is the best way to easily make coins on this game over time with minimal effort. So again, I love 89s at like 21 to 22k. I love the 88s at like 15 to 16,000 coins. I think they'll be 20k at some point. They'll go up. 89s hopefully go to like 30k at some point. 80 like the 90 rated Harry Kane and De Bruyne 34k for him does seem pretty cheap, I'll be completely honest. Like, yeah, he's been down here at 33k. This is the cheapest that he's been since the beginning of the game. And he was 40k almost at one point. I do believe that was when he was out of packs. But 32k for 90 rated, I think, is a no-brainer as well. It's just more of the waiting game. But if that's what you guys want to do and not mess around with the market is as high as it is, you know EA is going to keep dropping more SBCs. I would put some of those cards in your club and thank me later when they go up when we start getting SBCs. So, big day team 2. Like I'm I'm excited for team 2 today. I'm excited to try to open some packs and get some of these cards, but I don't think team 1 left us with like wow, this promo is so insane. EA's got to do something a little bit different today, whether it's mess with the pack a little bit, juice it up, give us a different evolution to hype us up, maybe an SBC. They got to do something today to make it a little bit extra special because last week doesn't make us want a whole lot more of this promo i don't know it's just a fine promo it's not like omg there are big name players in it but something's got to be spiced up today guys so that's the video for me today if you do want to see us reacting to the content live today on friday make sure you drop down into this comments in the description and click on the twitch link we'll be streaming live there today making coins watching the market and seeing what new content we get with total rush team 2 if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new and comment down below how many coins you made with Rivals Rewards because, man, we made a couple hundred thousand coins. We're probably looking at, on in total on the account right now, somewhere around 3.2 million coins. I've got a Trent and I've got a Cristiano Ronaldo right here. Still, this Trent was bought at 305 and he's like 330. I think he's going to go up a little bit more today. We'll be covering it all in today's stream. Again, that link's down below in the description. I will see you guys there later today. Have a great Friday. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you there. Peace. Out.